good morning. So we go from hay right into lambing. Actually, um, the little set of twins were being born as we were fixing the bagger or something. One of our many, many fixes during hay. These little nuggets, they are so small. Uh, that's a single and a set of twins. They are small because they're not due till a week today. So this is what happens. Sometimes they, usually it's the ewe lambs that lamb a little bit earlier, but these are, these ewes are from 2017. So they should not be, it's not their first time lambing. I have one ewe that I've been treating for pregnancy toxemia. I induced her, so she had her lamb yesterday. It was a little, uh, just a little stillborn dead lamb, so I don't know what's going on with her. I've treated her every day for four days. This would have been day five and she's just not coming along. Another baby. Hey, mama. And I believe she's got another one coming. I did see feet a couple seconds ago. So we are here Wednesday, June 12th, I think. I've had to induce some because of this whole pregnancy toxemia thing. I've got, I think I've got three more down right now. One down, two more that are really weak in their legs. So what I've done is given them a shot of dexamethasone to induce labor to get that pressure off and the requirement off them. And this girl, she's a first time mummy. And she had twins and I induced her two nights ago so not last night but the night before so they're bang on like 30 it seems to be about 36 hours I am going to keep doing that because for whatever reason I think I think the thing with pregnancy toxemia I think if you wait until they're down to start treating them I think it's too late so I think what I'm gonna do is as soon as I see them getting weak on their back legs I'm gonna I'm gonna induce them because I just can't seem to save them so anyway that is the update this morning. We're still trying to dodge these rains. Trying, we still have 500 acres to plant and it's just getting really discouraging. So looking forward to lambing just to uh, not focus on the weather. Hey, Mom. So we have another ewe, we have some twins here. I also induced her. She is really weak on her back legs. Had a couple good size. For a first time lammer, she had a couple good size Suffolk lambs. I have to supplement them. She's not coming to her milk yet. Other than that, it's quiet. I just had some visitors here from Alberta. All right, guys, are you ready to get fed? I've got mom drinking, eating, gave her Medicam, uh, treated for pregnancy toxemia. I gave her some calcium, some gly uh, glycol orally. So it's just a matter of she's got to get some strength in that back end and um, until then. Yes, I am lambing and I am planting soybeans. We are chasing the clock, literally. Rain is coming in hours and we have Mark has just started to plant edibles. This is a field we just literally tiled a month ago and it is rough, but we've done our best to try to to try to get it smoothed out and fit for planting, but it rains every other day. It's it's insane. The only good thing is it's drying out quick with this heat and sun. So very grateful for that, but wish us luck we'll get this field somewhat done. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna sign off because I'm getting dizzy. I am back in the barn. Oh gosh, I have to feed these guys. The drill plug, so we brought it back to the shop to work on it for a bit and we can't figure out what's going on with it. So I'm just filled up again and heading back out. This mom still hasn't come into her milk yet. So I just thought I'd top him off because I could be late. Oh my gosh. Anyway, gotta go. Well, it's Thursday. We're four days out from the actual due date of lambing. Never a good sign when this thing has to get hooked up already. 
It's been quite a thing. Uh, these early U's going down with pregnancy toxemia, I've already had one, two, three that I'm gonna have to actually put down. They cannot get back up on their feet. Even after I induce them to land them, they're still not getting up. And that's after treating them. So I'm just, I'm getting really frustrated. So I'm hoping it gets better. But so far I've fed a set of twins here that were born yesterday. Mom is still down, so I likely have to euthanize her this morning. These two I've been supplementing. One, two. Mom is getting better on her feet, so I caught her in time, thank goodness, but she's really slow coming into her milk. Ugh. Uh, but I had a nice set of twins born this morning. Not, in not induced, not pregnancy, toxemia, no nothing. So some of them are awesome. Like, I don't know why some of them come down with pregnancy toxemia and others do not. And then last night, late last night, I had a set of triplets. That was my 2 a.m. catch. Oh, it's busy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of lambs. It's got to get better, you guys. Brand new. Hey, baby. You're on the wrong end. Yeah. Got a few today. Those two, four, two. And then those guys are from previous days. I'm just in here doing a night check just before dark, feeding my new set of triplets. Mom has milk, but not a lot of milk, and I just want to make sure they get in colostrum, so uh, it's been a busy day. Today I got called into a meeting first thing this morning in Guelph, so I got it pretty early. I was greeted with quite a few ewes and babies. I think I got them figured out and got them put with the right moms. Right now it's about 8 o'clock at night. What I want to do now is process a bunch of ewes that lambed yesterday and start letting them out. So this is kind of what I talked about in that, in that video when I cleaned out the barn. Once there's enough to kind of make a, a tiny little pen, they get, they get taken out of the claiming pens and put in a bigger pen together with a big group. And that, this pen just keeps getting bigger and bigger as I take down these lambing pens and head that way. Hey.
Hey, Mama. Hi, buddy. <laughs> what we got here? Where's your mommy? Hey? Way down there, there's a whole bunch. There's one over there. Hey, Mom, did you miss the lamb down there? Can you go get it? Oh, you had two? All right, let's get you guys put away. I'm just wrapping up Saturday. Show you what we've had today and yesterday. So she just had this one. She's got another one pending. Uh, this one had four for Carissa this afternoon. Uh, these ones were yesterday. So triplets, twins. These are brand new tonight. Another set of quads. Oh no. That one's not doing so good, mommy. No, not doing good at all. That one is not alive. Wait. One. That's five, yo. Okay, so five, but one was uh, triplets, twins, twins, and I have to show you my pride and joy. This is my favorite so far, and you're a girl. Hello. You're so sweet. Your mommy's so nice. Yeah, you're a nice mommy. Twins, triplets, triplets, twins. And twins, that's that side. And more singles and twins on that side. I don't think there's any triplets over there. So that is today's update. Good morning, it's Sunday. We have a lot of lambs. So this is what I was greeted with. Two there. With a mama trying to steal, that is not your baby. Two there. Uh, there's a couple over there, but one just ran away. It's way down there. So I'm gonna go put those in a pen. Hi, buddy. Oh, 
little Sunday afternoon and I have my first lamb with a broken leg. So sometimes the, when I move the mums and the babies into the wide open area, uh, when they're looking for their own babies and they don't like the other babies, they are really mean. And um, this baby got runted so bad, it's got a pretty bad break up in its upper, upper part of its back leg. So, I have my uh, broken leg kit, and I just want to show you guys how I fix a lamb's broken leg. Usually they heal really fast. Gotta go find her. I think this is it here. Is this you? I think it's you. Is this you? Yeah. So yeah, this is the one. Broken leg here. So, I'm going to take fix you up so it's pretty broken it's broken up here and I've never fixed one up there so this is gonna be this is gonna be an experiment hi sweetie okay so I've got my paint rollers All right, let's see here okay so it's broken right here and I do have two pieces that are I'll cut a little bit smaller. I'm gonna see if that will fit. Ugh, that's a bad break, buddy. How did you do that? I don't know if that's big enough. It might be too big. Ooh, these ones are smaller. Smaller? That's a bit smaller. Let's try this piece. Okay, I'm going to put that wrap on first. Kenzie, you go. This just protects, it's just, the paint, inside the paint rollers are quite hard, so I, this vet wraps just to give it a little bit of cushion. So there's the vet wrap. Now I'm gonna take these smaller ones. I want to get this leg immobilized as best as I can. So I'm gonna put, oh, Let's try that. And the good thing about the paint roller is that it's curved, so it fits their leg nice, instead of just a straight pipe or a stick to act as a splint. This kind of curves it. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, honey. You're good, you're good. Okay, I'm not sure if I need one on the bottom or not. It's got a high break. Newly? Uh, yesterday I think I saw it limping. Okay, let's do the bottom two, I think. Some extra support. Hmm. Oopsie. I know. I don't know what to do. I think it's, like it's turned in. I know, but the it's the brake is at the top. I guess it's moving. Oh, you're. I think you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Where's your mom? Where's your mom? There she is over there. <laughs> we made it to Monday. We've made it to the official launch of lambing. And I see more babies today. We have had a lot. I bet you we're half done. So stay tuned. Next week we will have the official first week of lambing. Thanks for watching.